afternoon and evening guys, Captain C100 here again, bringing you episode 9 of LCM. Um, I'm getting these episodes out because I'm obsessed with this server at the minute, and I'm really in the mood to record. So I thought today is something I've not done on the server yet. Um, we have yet to give you guys a server tour. Um, so we're going to stop by all the guys' places, um, well the ones I can find anyway because we're pretty widespread away from spawn at this point in the server. Um, so this is my place, you guys know it, um, for any new people to the channel, um, this is my main base, I've got a little house to spawn, um, but you can, you can check this place out in the previous episodes which are all in a playlist for your guys convenience. So without further ado, let's head out to the first stop which will be Chaffee Bean's place. So I'll meet you guys there, and we're here at Chaffee Bean's place. Um, so Chappy Bean has just started up his YouTube channel, he's just started to record. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, he's just started to record and for some reason he's decided to dig out such a massive area. You can see here he's, he's cleared out a massive part of a mountain but the more impressive thing that he's done here is this. He's dug out this entire... Th oh, I've never seen this before actually. Is this a ravine? It looks like it is too. Sweet. There's coal there, Chaffee Bean, I'm going to take that, mate, if you don't. Um, so he's dug out this mountain. I don't know what he's going to do with it. Um, he's got a speed up of him digging all this out. This must have took ages. I could not do this myself. There's no way I'd end up doing this. But, yeah, so he's doing something with that. I don't know what that is up there. It looks like a mob dropper or something. But I'm not too sure I need to eat as well. Oh... Did that just fall from the mob drop for that rotten flash? I think it did. Um, anyway, so we see here he's got an automatic chicken farm. Looks like this is his bitch chicken, the one that gives him all the eggs. And <laughs> those guys are just waiting to go up and die. Um, does he have much in it? He's got nine, that's not too bad. Um, so we see here, this seems to be his kind of his storage cabin, I suppose. And his incredible farm with, you know, <laughs> with four cows and one sheep. Again, I don't know why the, the food shortage on this server is just insane. <clears throat> is that supposed to be there? I'm taking that block. Um, so you see here, he's got a storage room set up. This is similar to what I want to do in my single player world um, on that series. <clears throat> For you guys that follow that, you know that. This is what we're starting to build, a similar kind of design to this. You've got all these mob drops here. And his regular blocks. It's pretty nice. I'm, I'm a fan of that kind of storage room. And um, kind of having a chest for every block. Or every main block anyway. So this, he's got a map floor as well. I really want to get one of these sorted for mine. Uh, for my place. See here, there's that massive dugout mountain. And my place is just about here. If you were to extend it. So we're not that far from Chaffee Beans. Um, I use his portal to get back in two. Because that's still something that we need to do. Um, so I might hire Chaffee Bean to do this for me actually. I might pay him some diamonds if he makes me a map haul. Um, but yeah, and we're going to be doing some collabs with Chaffee Bean soon with that mob spawner we found in the previous episode. Um, not previous episode, episode before that, the spawner episode where we've got a spider spawner at our base. So maybe me and Chaffee Bean are going to turn that into a grinder. So this just seems to be his little base where he's just signed to set up camp. Has he got anything in there? Oh, he has. Oh. Let's just put the, what is it? And it's cat, isn't it? I need to get an ender chest as well. Um, yeah, so it's a nice design. I like how he's going with the beams and he's kind of star the roof. It's very kind of um, Nordic kind of design. As well, he's gone for the old um, the fences for the windows like we did at our place. Um, but he did it first, so he's not copied us, don't worry. Um, and then he's just got a little farm going on here. Um, it's pretty it's pretty simple, but it's nice and rustic and that's what I like about it. He's not finished it yet, he's still got to build whatever he's doing there. Um, man, there's so much noise going on. Let's get out. Okay. Okay, whether I should cut this for you guys or not, um, or just show you guys around the nether hub. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm going to cut, guys, and then we'll meet you at the next place. So I'll be right back. And welcome back, guys. So I thought I might as well show off spawn while I stopped off here. 
um, this is Fappy's Nether Portal Gardens. We looked at this a couple of episodes ago. So if you guys that have followed the series, you probably know what's going on here. Um, this is built by Sir Fapslot. It's brilliant. It's really nice. He's gone with a stone slab and stained black glass design. It's a really nice design. Um, so that's Sir Fappy's thing. These are now linked up because the old portal kept bringing us out way over there. But now these seem to be working, so that's good. The dormitory is also built by Sir Fappy. Um, Strange dormitories. These are for the new players that start on the server. They get to kind of rent a room out. Again, it's due to excuse the frame rate, guys. We are at a spawn. Um, it will be over in a minute. Uh, so these are the rooms that the new people on the server get to rent out. He's got a villager in here as well who has some pretty awful trades. That's not too bad, actually. What's that? Yeah, some pretty awful trades apart from the leather for the emeralds. That's not too bad if you got a cow farm. So this is Snapchat's place. He's resisting something. Nobody knows what he's resisting yet. There's some armor upstairs. I did sign up for this, but none, <laughs> nothing has happened yet. He's just got some resistant recruitment sweats. Um, I don't know what he's trying to resist and nobody actually knows. So that's Snapchat's place. This is my place. We know what this looks like. It's got nothing inside it. Um, there's my little house, a little, a little front garden. But I kind of abandoned this place for the Japanese place out in the woods. <gasps> This is finished now. Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, that is sick. This is what we were building um, in the, in Memory Leak Death stream the other night. Um, after we defeated the Wither in the previous episode, the guys started to build this. That's looking really, really good. Oh, yeah, the guys have done a really good job of that. We were debating whether or not to colour it, but now we've just gone for a stone. It's kind of like a memorial garden, I suppose. But they've done a really good job of that, so well done on that, guys. Um, this is Memory Leap Death's automatic farm, auto, um, furnace room, I think, down there. I'm not going to go down. Um, this is Memory Leap's place, I think. This is, I have no idea, it's not got a sign on it, so I presume it goes down somewhere. Let's find out where. Just end the pill down. Somewhere in there, there's no button. Oh, yes, there is. Don't know where this goes. Someone's base anyway. Um, it's not signposted, so I don't know whose it is. But it's quite a nice design, actually. There are other ways, kind of. Man, that is camouflage. That button. There we go. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Oh no. Idiot. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> Right, so apparently we can't end up our back up, we're just going to have to climb up super slow. I also want to see if I can find a bed as well, because we are super on our own today. So, there we go. Man, this guy loves his buttons, whoever it is. Oh, man. Come on. Oh. The lag. There we go, we're out. Right, let's see if we can quickly find someone's bed. Right, so I guess, yeah, you know what, we might as well get some use out of the dormitories that Faps has built for us. Um, so there's not that many people building at spawn at the minute, apart from the Wither statue that the guys have just built um, when we all killed the Wither. I hope you guys enjoyed that, it was really fun collabing with the other guys. Um, really going to hopefully do it again. Oh man, that frame rate. So I don't think we're going to stay around spawn too long, it's mainly just people's houses, there's probably too much to show. But these are the kind of main features, um, there's some more houses and stores over there. Um, that aren't signposted. Um, this is kind of like... I have no idea what this is actually. I can't even try and lie, so I'll have to check it out. This is... The Flying Squid, I believe this is a bar. And it's got a comedy club downstairs that someone's built. Um, and of course, Mount Serenity built by Sir Fapslot with the Temple of Bashan on top. Um, because, why not? It's Faps. So, we're going to be right back guys when we stop off at the next base. So I'll be right back. And we're here at Fapdom, built by our good buddy, Sir Fapsalot, channel in the description, go and check him out, he's just hit 80 subs last night, um, great guy, great YouTuber, he's got a YouTuber's voice, um, really does deserve more subs, and that is the first time you can ever say that truthfully, um, he's, a, he's a really good YouTuber, great commentator, really good builder, evidently, look at the detail in these walls, this is Fapdom, um, oh, man, I'm sorry, I will replace that for you. I have torches. There we go. 
you see the detail this guy puts into his build is insane. I thought I was quite a good detailed builder. But just look, it's not just a plain grey wall with all the different textures he's got going on. The buttons, the resources took to build just this piece of wall alone must have been insane, man. It's crazy. But well, before we check out the inside of the castle, we're going to check out his peasant lands, as he calls them. He's built some awesome self-built trees here. I wish trees like this grew in Minecraft, naturally. Um, really, really good builder. You see here he's got his farms. I do believe I have a chest around here somewhere with my name on it. I don't believe it's that one. I do. I did stop by here when I first came on the server and had to kill myself to get back. And I left all my stuff here. So you see here he's really kind of modified the lands. This is really good. It kind of reminds me a lot of like kind of like the rice fields in China where they got these kind of segmented waterways. Is that me? Yeah. Really, really nice design there, Faps. I'm a fan of that, buddy. He's obviously harvest that. Is this mine? Hey, what was in this now? Leather. I can take most of this. I see, see if we can take all of it, actually. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, man. Cheers, buddy. Thanks for keeping that for me. We'll take our stuff back, too. Did I pick that up? Nope. There we go. So, these are kind of like the farmlands. He's got some stuff here. The phantom sheep farm, more for sale and trade. Don't know what the, where the sheep farm is. Is it at the back? It looks like where it's supposed to be. But he's got some kind of cow farm going on here, and also a horse in diamond armor, as well as a mule. Um, so clearly Faps is probably he's probably the most set up on the server, but I think he's been here the longest. The phantom lumber mill, help wanted. How is this a lumber mill? Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a nice design. I like that. I'd, I'd never thought of doing that. Okay, so he's actually built... A, oh, he's even got like the little corkscrew thing going on as well. Oh, man, that is awesome. He's really put a lot of detail into this. You know, obviously it's not functional because you can't physically grow a tree. But it's not always about functionality. You know, clearly he cares a lot about the detail and the cosmetic appeal of his builds, which is amazing. This tower as well, just... Oh, just the markings he puts on his builds are insane, man. I, I could not be bothered to put all those stairs and, and slabs to texture it all out. It must have took him years to do. So these are his kind of his farmlands and the introduction as you're walking in. The main entrance is there. You can see just the archway there that leads down from um, just the wilderness. See here, just another build. He's got a little bit of wood there just to highlight the... The detail. What is this place actually? Does it have a sign on? Has he said what it's for? Oh man. This guy's just got stuff everywhere. So let's check out the main hall in Fapdom. Now he's done an amazing stained glass window. You guys seen it when I put back in. It's just insane how much detail he's put into this place. And the stained glass window is just awesome. He's done a really good job on it. And I'm sure he's looking for my approval. <laughs> so let's look at that. Look at that, guys. It's just insane. And it's even highlighted more by the regular glass here, so he's not just stained glass all around. This works very well. But he's gone for kind of the spruce wood trim. And just how he's randomised it, and it looks beautiful. Because when I try to randomise, we all know it doesn't go well. But he's just... He's done a quality job. He's used glass panes and glass blocks as well to really give it kind of a 3d texture and the main hall is just mind-blowing he's put up little banners here he's done the columns and the pillars all leading up to his nether portal which is just so much detail and even hollowing all this out i mean is this even built into a mountain i don't think it is is it or maybe it is yeah yeah this is built into a mountain and just to hollow all this out is just madness. It's just insane. But well done to the guy. It's just, it's a beautiful build and a really nice place. So that's it for Fapdom and I'll meet you guys at the next place. Be right back. And the next stop on our journey is, I have no idea, I believe this is MC Toad's place. And um, the map here doesn't quite show where we are. I think this here is Serenity. Um, the ones that are missing. Um, 
I believe, I'm not too sure. There's zombie pigmen everywhere. But let's explore it anyway. This guy's built a massive Lion 3 Destination Foot Toad. I believe this is Toad's place then. Um, he's built a kind of a massive underground rail network that runs all over. These are, I think, farms. Which they are, oh, that's that's fence. I can't jump up on that. Um, I think these are farms inside. But this is just insane. I don't know what this is for. Um, oh, man. Wasn't expecting that. Um, <laughs> it's just a massive, massive hole right down to bedrock. What looks to be like 64 by 64, this guy is not pushing me off. It's a massive hole, I could not imagine how long it took him to dig that out. Um, again, another job that is way too much work for Captain T100. And he's got this massive bowl over it as well. Again, the purpose of which is unknown. Um, again, I think these are farm buildings, but the design he's gone for kind of like the continuing S shape with the glass in the middle. is a really nice design and I am a fan of that. The rest of it is all pretty much, pretty much bog standard stuff. He's gone for a really nice kind of colour palette here, actually, and some really nice designs with his windows and and highlighting the edges of the different floors. This is a wonderful modern house, very very B double O with the snow blocks, I must say, but that is a wonderful house. The blue stained glass as well with the snow blocks goes beautiful, um, and the use of sugar cane as well for um, for decorating the garden is great. Really, really good job there. Um, Toad isn't on that much, at least not what I'm on, so I don't really have that much of a chance to talk to him. Um, but clearly he is a great, great builder. Um, I don't think he's a YouTuber. Um, it's just a builder on the server along with UMAG um, and many other people. But that's that stop there, guys, and I will see you guys at the next place. And welcome back to our final stop on the tour. Memory League Death Place, one of my favourite guys and my second father, as you guys all know, he is the dad of the server. So he started off here by building a library and the use of andesite, I think this is, and a particular wall of endstone. I don't know what this is for. This is a staircase. Very, very interesting choice of colours here, Memory, I must say that, my friend. Although, however, with the granite, that's actually not a bad combination, is the endstone and the granite together. I've been looking for something to use the granite with. And that right there has given me some ideas. He's got glass central in that chest. So, let's continue our tour on to his ranch. So, this is going to be the public library. Serenity is just over there, obviously, just out of my render distance. But you cross that bridge and you come to his ranch, which is a little bit further up the gravel road. So let's follow up there. He's got some loose animals. He's also got a roofed forest just behind his place here. Of which I may take some wood from. So you see, he's got a lot of animals. He probably has the most animals on the server. Um, he's also got here some little stalls. He was giving me a tour yesterday on his stream. This is a cobblestone slash obsidian generator. You choose um, whatever it is. And then it goes into the hopper. It drops down. And there's a piston there, and this is all kinds of nasty redstone stuff, which I don't understand. Um, so something's being powered here, something's not being powered, and somehow that makes obsidian. It's out of my league. These are just kind of some little market stalls he's set up. Very, very, very Texan um, here at the at the Memory League Death Ranch, where only the finest veal is produced. This was something that interested me. I did not know this about Minecraft. You guys probably did. Um, this water that's flowing down the middle here keeps all this wheat hydrated that flows up throughout the tunnel and then he presses a button which is around somewhere, it's not up there obviously, um, well either way he harvests it and it comes down through the dropper, um, hopper, hopper, and then into the chest when he's ready to harvest. So. That's a pretty awesome wheat farm idea. Um, again, for my base, we can't implement too many redstone stuff just because I don't want to kind of ruin the rustic Japanese acoustic feel by making it too kind of techy. This is a another RV given to him by someone. Um, somebody keeps building these around the server. I don't know who it is. 
but they're very good RVs. This is a wonderful barn as well, the seal and design. Stained glass is an interesting choice for a barn, but the pattern he's gone for is brilliant. And obviously the roof with the hay bales is just fantastic. Really great design there, memory. And this is the ranch house, which is... He's finally found a use, a good use, for the white stained clay. I believe it's white anyway. Let's have a little look, see here. Oh, unless I throw it on the floor. I think this is white stained clay, is it not? If I can pick it up. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the white stained clay. This is originally what we was building the temple out of back at our home. But we decided against it because I couldn't make it work. But clearly memory has, with the blue stained clay, I presume this is, um, and the white stained clay. Really good job there, dude. Obviously, it's not finished yet. He's got a lot more to build. Um, and he's also in the process of clearing this out, um, which he was supposed to do with the little TNT from, which we never got to see. But he does want us to take some of this dark wood because he needs to get rid of it. So I guess we can do that for him, guys. I'm going to grab some of this dark wood. Um, this episode's probably going to be a little bit on the short side. I just wanted to get a server tour out because I realised I've not done one. Um, and you guys need to see the rest of the builds that people have done. Um, all the channels of the YouTubers are in the description. Do go check them out. We will all really appreciate your support and help. Um, so we really hope you enjoy the server and please do continue to watch us because it means the world when we get our little views from you guys. So thank you very much for watching. Please enjoy the video and please do enjoy the rest of your day guys. Thank you very much. Take care. P.S. I hope you guys like the new intro. Have a nice day.